Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing Voidscapes, the new pandemic-inspired, conceived, written, and recorded three-song EP from Sonolith, a combination of Sonic and Monolith, and a band I'm hoping to have on the channel soon. At time of recording, the EP became available online and on limited edition clear vinyl yesterday, September 14th. I've put a link in the description to get your own copy, and remember, if you don't support local music, it goes away. Self-described as spaced-out wizards of riffage, cruising the stars in search of the hardest groove in the universe, one of the songs was even recently featured on Volume 3 of Doomed and Stone's compilation series, The Instrumentalist. Oh, did I forget to mention this was an instrumental album? That's right, no lyrics to analyze, no storytelling with clever wordplay. Stick on your headphones, kiddos! Cause it's time to use our imaginations. We're starting things off good and heavy with Deep Space Leviathan, the track featured on that compilation series I mentioned during the introduction. At just over nine minutes long, it's the longest one of the bunch, and that's a good thing. With thick and tasty riffs laid down over some nice bass lines, this tune brought to mind post-apocalyptic wastelands, Conan the Barbarian, Black Sabbath, and even a little bit of Pink Floyd, blending seamlessly into the next track, which is Pyrrhic Victory, the shortest track on the EP, and a bit of a slow burn at the beginning, if you'll pardon the pun. No! Funny. Lulling the listener into a false sense of security before unleashing a sonic assault that forced my head to start bopping up and down and my hands to start itching for some air guitar. <laughs> the driving pace was broken by some nice guitar harmonies before the pace changed yet again. Reminiscent of vintage Metallica. Ask your parents, kids. This sets the stage nicely for the third and final installment of music in the form of Star Worshippers, which has an official music video that I'll link to below. Once again, seamlessly blended into from the previous tune, this one begins with a nice walking bass line before the power chords come kicking down the door again. Here the guitar and bass take turns taking the lead, and it creates a nice dynamic interplay without getting muddy or confusing. I can imagine this tune and the entire EP as the background for a rocket launch. Billy, yeah. what's that? Well, it looks like a giant... Johnson! Yes, sir. With melodies and riffs that are absolutely screaming out for vocals, but not needing them to feel complete, Voidscapes from Sonolith is an appetite wedding taste of what I hope will be more to come. Great job, guys! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you'll click the link down below to get your own copy of Voidscapes by Sonolith. Um, if you'd like to support the channel as well, I've got merch, room6.shop, got Patreon page, um, got albums for sale myself. But more importantly, if you want to support the local scene, please consider subscribing. It really does make a difference. I'd love to hit a thousand so I can have some new cool features in the videos. Um, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, really appreciate it. Please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified when new videos get posted. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.